So we've gotten the terminal to say winter is coming. Very well done, young warrior, if you have gotten this far with us. But now we're really going to get crazy by turning this into a full-scale web app. Let's jump into main.js. First, I'm going to put a use strict statement at the top. Now, with JavaScript, there's a little bit of confusion between the previous version ES5 and the new better version ES6. Suffice it to say, for some reason, in order to use better kind of JavaScript, which I want to use because I want this video to be the best as possible for you, you have to have this use strict string at the top of your file. It's like a magic string and it doesn't do anything if the version of the JavaScript compiler you're running on doesn't care about it. But having use strict will allow me to use ES6 stuff like the let keyword. Let is just like ver, but it has better scoping. It also looks a bit cooler, so I like to use let. It makes you kind of look like a boss. So we need to get access to express that we installed via npm. So we're going to make a variable and call it express. And we'll make it equal to require. And you can put a couple of things in require. You can put the path to a different file, or you can just put the name of a module, which is what we're going to do. The module we want is called express, so we'll say express. Next, we need to create an instance of our app. Since with express, you can have many different instances of express running all from the same file, one of the multiple sweetnesses of Node.js, you need to create a new instance of it every time. So we'll create an instance called app. And we'll make that a new express. Now the app object has a few handy methods. It has a get method, it has a post method, it has quite a few and we're interested in the get method. So if we say app.get, when someone logs into your application this is the code that's going to run and by log in I mean tries to view it in an HTML browser. Now if I just put a forward slash here this is going to be if I just access my main site. So from website is danielstern.ca, this is going to happen if I just go to danielstern.ca slash nothing. The second thing is an argument. The second argument is a function, and I just wrote my function in the arrow function, which goes brackets, then a fat arrow, and then pointy brackets. And this always has two arguments, request and response often abbreviated rec and res. So rec contains information about the request, like the headers and maybe the post arguments, and res is a convenience tool for sending your response. So we can say res.status, which will send the status code when we respond is whatever we set. So let's pick a number, 200. You can put whatever number you want, really. Although if you put a 500 number, it might cause an error. You never know. Then we'll chain that to dot .send. And whatever we pass inside dot .send will get sent to the browser that's accessing our web app. So we can type a message to send to the browser, and I'll just type some total nonsense in there. So whenever someone accesses our app, they're going to get this. But if this doesn't make sense, let's see it in action. The last thing we have to do is we have to say app.listen. Now, one thing about web application, which I'm not going to get into too much because, well, there's a lot to talk about in there, is that all web applications listen to things on a port. It what's, lets your computer know the difference between packets coming in for World of Warcraft and packets coming in for Gmail. So you have to specify a port with any web application. Now, if you specify the magic port 80, then you won't need to type in any port if you use a browser. If you use any other port, then you'll need to specify that manually. So let's make our 7777, just to be really clear. And the second argument is a callback that will just happen whenever our app is ready to listen. So we'll just type in here, our app is listening. Will it work? I don't know. You don't know. Let's find out. Let's pop open our terminal. And what's that magic script? That's right, npm start. Let's try it. So we get our audience's listening message. 
now if we go to localhost, this site can't be reached. Why is that? Ah, good one, because we have to specify the port, don't we? If it's not 80, it must be specified. And we made ours 7777. And there's the message that we set inside Express. If you don't believe me, go ahead and change the message and see if the message changes. So you've basically built an entire web app in Express. If this was a regular video, this is where it would be ending. But it's not a video because we're going to make this app to the extreme using over 9,000 powers. Are you ready to get mathematical? I hope so.